must pause to ask yourselves whether or not you have succeeded in providing the world with a secure business environment for economic development. How secure is a business environment? Is, it a business envir is, a, is a business environment secure enough for activities that bring economic development? In answering these questions, you should consider not just your role, you must critically evaluate your performance on the job and honestly assess yourselves as to whether or not, practically, you are on track in relation to the theme of the day. How secure, therefore, is the international trade environment for the economic development of participating countries? International trade security requires certainty of the successful movement and exchange of goods and services, including their safe delivery in the international supply chain. The processes and procedures for importation, exportation, and clearance of goods must be convenient, timely, and certain. In short, trade across borders must be simple, safe, and reliable. The role of customs would therefore necessarily be to facilitate these trade activities and business transactions. That is why trade facilitation has become so central in ensuring a secure business environment. To keep businesses secure for, and especially activities uh, within the custom processes secure for economic development would mean riding it of, riding it of impediments like corrupt practices by custom officials, ensuring security in our air and sea ports, reducing the clearing time and processes, and removing all barriers to trade. The longer goods stay in our ports during the clearing processes, the more insecure they become. They are exposed to pilfering, theft, corrupt practices such as extortion, and the hazards of the weather. International best practices should be applied in examination of goods while applying modern technology and moving away from intrusive to non-intrusive examination with the introduction of post-clearance auditing and risk management mechanisms. When customs succeed in these practices, there would be an inevitable increase in the volume of international trade with accompanying increase in international investment and technology transfer. This would bring about automatic growth and economic development to our country.